Hello everyone. Welcome to Silicium Tech. Today we will see about Autosar tools. Autosar is a huge specification, so there are a lot of things to be done. Obviously, there are a lot of tools available which uh, implement different parts of the Autosar specification. You can classify the different tools available for Autosar into the following categories based on what they do. So first thing is system and software modeling. Next one is the BSW configuration tool. And third is the BSW implementation. And fourth is the IT generation. So uh, these are the type of tools and uh, there are multiple vendors which supply these kind of tools. Let's look into each type, system and software modeling. This tool is used for deciding activities like configuring the system and creating the ECU extract and in the RT contact phase. In the OEM side, uh, the OEM uh, uses uh, this tool to create the software components and uh, the interfaces and define the topology and they configure the system uh, with help of this and uh, they also create easy extract out of this. Typically, the OEM uses this tool alone. And in the supplier side, this is used to further uh, define the software components uh, in detail and add interfaces and uh, this is used to generate the IT headers which can be given to the developers uh, as a part of this IT contract phase. The BSW configuration tool uh, is used to configure the Autosar BSW, uh, the layers like MCAL, uh, ECU abstraction layer, the services layer and uh, even the complex driver. Uh, these are uh, configured using the basic software configuration tool. BSW implementation is uh, nothing but the software implementation of the basic software. So the drivers, MCAL drivers, the services uh, software, uh, the ECU obsession layer. So all the implementation of the BSW is the BSW implementation. The IT generator tool is used to generate the IT based on the AXML inputs from the earlier steps. So far, we have seen the different types. Now we can look into uh, the actual tools. So there are multiple vendors which are providing these uh, different kind of tools. Uh, I have uh, tabulated uh, a table uh, defining uh, which uh, tool provider provides which uh, options. So the first one is uh, Arco Arctic Studio. So Arco is a, a organization which develops this uh, open source software and tool. Arctic Studio is uh, open source, but this is available only for the members of the Artisar. So that means it is available only for the organizations, not to the individual members. And even for the organizations, they should be registered as uh, Artisar members. Uh, if you have any doubts regarding uh, who are Artisar members, you can watch my introduction to Artisar video. I have uh, left the links in the comments below. So the RT Studio provides all of the four tools. So we can uh, do the system modeling, we can do the BSW configuration, this BSW implementation is also there and RT generation is also possible. Uh, next is Commasso. And uh, Commasso is also again uh, open source, uh, but this is also available only as a, a subscription. Uh, license. So we have to be a member of the commercial community, uh, then we can use this. And uh, this has uh, limited features. So it has a BSW configuration and BSW implementation. It is not providing RT or system tools. Then we have the continental uh, tool where uh, this provides all of the four uh, features. And the salt system, uh, they provide the tooling part, but, but not the implementation. And the system desk DSpace product, this provides the system tooling. So this is uh, the software system desk, which provides the tool to uh, design the, the system. Uh, and it also provides the generation of RTE. Uh, then we have ETAS product, Isolar and RTA. So uh, Isolar is used for the system tooling and based on configuration. And they also provide the implementation layer and they also provide this uh, RTE generator called RTA. And we also have the die and uh, meta graphics uh, tools which are providing all the facilities. And uh, we have this uh, CO QoS uh, which partially provides the implementation of BSW and it provides the tooling for uh, BSW RTE but not the system tooling. And uh, the well, most well-known tool is the vector uh, tool DaVinci, uh, along with the uh, basic software uh, implementation by COSA. 
so they provide all the features and then uh, we have the error bit they provide everything except the system tools and Redis uh, provides the VSO implementation for the uh, boards and Cforces uh, provides all the features. If you want to learn how to start hands-on, you need one of these tools which I listed here. That's all for today. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section. Please do subscribe to the channel and share the videos.